Hello Year 3 and welcome to our final home learning walkthrough video. This is for the week of the 20th of July 2020. I hope you had a good time this morning visiting your Year 4 teacher and now it's time to have a look at what we've got lined up for you for the rest of this week. Let's start off by looking at the timetable. So here's the timetable for this week and as you can see it's rather short. It just covers the Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday bringing us to the end of the summer term. As always this is an optional timings on your week's work and you can work out with your family what would work best with you. For the Monday we've given you reading and writing but we've given you a little bit less because hopefully you've already been in and spent some time in school meeting your year four teacher and we've also given you a little DT activity to do there. Uh, on Tuesday, you've got your reading, writing, and some maths and spelling, and music and science activities to try. And on Wednesday, as well as your reading, writing, and maths and spelling, we've given you some art and uh, a, a games activity based on the Olympics that has had to be postponed. In addition to that, the reading can continue over the summer holiday. So let's have a look at the reading in a bit more detail. The reading for this week takes you right across this week and into the summer holidays. It's a summer reading bingo challenge. What we'd like you to do is see if you can fill up the whole of the reading bingo challenge across this week and into the six weeks holiday. You'll see that there's a whole range of different reading activities for you to try. Some of them are really quick and easy, some of them will take a bit longer. Let's just have a look along the top row to give you a flavour of the sorts of things. The first one says, read a poem from a book of poetry, then practice writing your own. Number two, go camping under the stars, or in a living room pillow fort and read your favourite spooky story. Remember to bring a flashlight. This one says, research a topic that interests you and read an article about it. Parents feel free to lend a hand. We've already done a nice topic, a project topic for us as part of our home learning a few weeks ago. This one says, listen to an audio book on your next summer road trip. Well, even if you don't get to go on holiday this year, you could still listen to an audiobook. And this one at the end here says, choose a book from the Scholastic Summer Reading Challenge list and give it a read. So I'm just going to explain a little bit more about that. All you need to do is Google Scholastic Summer Reading Challenge 2020 and up comes this website. There's loads for you to explore on here. You can log in and uh, join the challenge and submit your reading. But uh, something I really liked was this um, book sorter tool. So you come down to the book sorter tool. You see it looks like a machine. You click on book type and you choose the type of book that you'd be interested in. Let's say you'd like a, a funny book. So you click on the funny. Then over here, you click on your age. Let's say I'm eight years old and I click find me a book. It searches through its library and here's some recommendations of funny books suitable for an eight year old. We've got the Tom Gates books there. We've got a couple of David Walliams books as well. We've got some Diary of a Wimpy Kid. I can go back and change that. So instead of being funny books, let's say I would like Spine Tinglers. So we're going to deselect funny and have a spine tingler book for an eight year old. Find me a book. And here we have some Tom Fletcher books, which I love. Love the Tom Fletcher books and various other books that could be seen as being spooky or scary. So if you're looking for some inspiration this summer, why not have a go at using that tool, which is in the Summer Reading Challenge website. So that's your reading for this week 
and your reading for the whole of the summer holidays. Your writing this week, we would like you to plan and write a quiz to show off everything you have learnt in year three this year and for us to share with our new classes so I could use your quizzes when I have my year twos coming into year three. On Monday, I ask you to write a plan. Think about everything you've learnt in year three and jot down some of your favourite bits. Remember to think about our different topics and our English and our maths, our reading, science, history, music, games, PE, French, RE, art, DT and computing. We've done so much. Then, on the Tuesday, I'd like you to draft out some questions. Think about the different things you've learnt and don't forget to write the answers too. You can use true or false or multiple choice or a mixture of both. And then on Wednesday, we'd like you to go on to Purple Mash, look in your to-dos and you'll find two quiz. It's an app that you can use to build your own quiz. Make sure you check your spellings, click save and you can submit it to me and I'll be able to play your quiz and see the questions you've asked. So that's your writing challenge for this week, is to create a year three learning quiz. Your math this week has two challenges. One's called At the Beach Cafe and one's called Summertime Colour by Calculations. Let's have a look at them now. Here's At the Beach Cafe. Use the menu to work out how much each customer has spent. So there are the prices. And then you have a look at the table. Table one has had a cola and ice cream. So you find out the price of a cola, the price of an ice cream, and you find the total bill. And work those out for each of the tables. Why not have a go at making up your own order? Decide what you would like and decide how much it would cost. You could even find the price from five pounds or 10 pounds. You could find out the change that would be needed. Your second maths activity for Wednesday is a summertime color by calculations. We've done things like this before. So you need to use the color key to reveal the picture. I think you can pretty much see what the picture is gonna be like. So here are your colors depending on the answer. So for this box here, we've got uh, 10 times two, 10 times two is 20. So therefore it's in this range here. So I'd color this block in yellow. So have fun with your summer maths challenges this week. For spellings this week, in your purple mash to do's, we've set you a spelling quiz. So, Earth. The word is said to you, and then it's hidden away, and you have to drag the letters needed to build the word. Earth. When I'm happy with the spelling, I tap done. Answer. Here's the next word. Answer. Let me show you what happens if I make a spelling mistake. So. Let me think. Oh, maybe I spell answer like this. Let's see what happens. No, that's not right. So Busy. I, I need to really focus to try to make sure I've got the spelling correct. And notice on the side here, you have a countdown timer. So you do need to try and complete the task in the time that's been given. Good luck with your spelling quizzes this week. For DT this week, we've given you a recipe for some flatbread. So you go to the BBC website using BBC Bite Size, Make your own pizza, I like the idea of that. You've got some videos to watch that show you how to make the flatbread and how to make dough. And then you've got various activities that show you the stages needed. 
make the pizza dough, make your sauce, top your pizza. So have fun making your pizzas and I would love to see some pictures of any pizzas that you make. Your music this week is also on the BBC Bite Size website and it's looking at the music of Florence Price. So read about Florence Price and then watch this video that explains all about her, her history, her motivation and the music that she created. And then there are some activities for you to try which are inspired by her body percussion. Sticking on the theme of summertime, we would like you to make a paper plate sundial in science. Follow the instructions. You'll see that there's a, a nice picture there to show you what to do. If you haven't got a paper plate, I'm sure you can improvise with a different material. Um, this one will take you a while to do because you've got to find a sunny day to do it on and you've got to come back to it several times during the day so you can mark on all the different times. So enjoy making your paper plate sundial in science. Your art for this week is inspired by Australia and inspired by Aboriginal wildlife paintings. You have a video here to show us an Aboriginal man and how he gets his inspiration for his nature-based paintings. Let's watch a little bit now. Bano is painting a crane or gomulu. He has carved out of wood. The marking he's painting represents the river where it lives. I'm just doing painting of gomulu. The water where gomulu sits and watch the fish swimming by. We have different sign of water. Here is a fresh water and also salt water. The one I'm just painting is a white clay that we usually get it from under the ground. And the ochres, the black, the red, the yellow, we find them on rocks. So they're using the natural materials around them in their landscape to create their own artwork. And then we would like you to create your own traditional style Aboriginal art. And we'd love you to take a picture of it and send it in to us. Your final challenge is linked to games and PE. And it's linked to the disappointing fact that we weren't able to have our Olympics this summer. And it's been postponed to next year. But nevertheless, there's plenty of activities and resources out there to keep you busy across the summer. So you can go to this website. And if you go down to the bottom, you'll find a parent's guide, Tokyo 10 activity guides, and a score sheet which is linked to those activities. Let's have a look at them now. Here are your Tokyo 10. So they're little activities to get you up and about and moving around. So it shows you a picture of the task and then it gives you the instructions on how to play and some variations and challenges you can set for yourself. So there's a whole range of different activities that you can try here. Some of them are indoors, some of them are outdoors, some of them are both. And they provide you with some score sheets that go with each of those tasks. So you can record your progress and see how you and your family are getting on. So enjoy your games inspired by the Tokyo Olympics which has been postponed but will be happening next year hopefully. Well that really is it. That's all the work we want you to do for this summer term. Have an absolutely wonderful summer holiday and I look forward to seeing you all in September when you come back into year four. Take care and see you soon.